What's up everyone? Sean Count Blagreth here today with an album review, this time of the 2012 Evergrim Recordings release of the self-titled debut by Infernal Alchemy. If you're not familiar with Infernal Alchemy, they are a two-piece black metal band hailing from the United States, and they play a very mid-pace, ambient style of black metal. Um, I'm sure most of you are not familiar with this band, but for my subscribers that have been with my channel for, I want to say, a good <clears throat> year, will remember me record, uh, reviewing this EP, this split. Uh, Graves of the Damned, which is a split between Blasphemate and Dark Metamorphosis. Now, what Infernal Alchemy is, is basically this split, except for these two collaborating together, creating a very unique sound of atmospheric black metal. And this is a great split, by the way. But Infernal Alchemy take what they were doing separately to a whole new level together. And to separate these dudes are pretty fast paced. Um, Blasphemate is a kind of a mid paced black metal band, but it definitely has some blistering moments. And same thing for Dark Metamorphosis. But Infernal Alchemy just kind of slow it down and really bring forth a truly unique take on uh, ambient and atmospheric black metal. One of my personal favorite things about this is how the songs flow. It, because they are, have a very hypnotic quality to them. And with that, it becomes catchy. And it becomes very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It will just become embedded into your brain. It's something that you will remember. It's very memorable. And that is something I love about this. Some of the songs on here range from being... What's the track listing say? 13 minutes to about 3 minutes. Uh, for the most part, they're around the 8-minute territory, and <clears throat> you have to be able to write a good song to have it be that length and keep my attention. And that's the thing that, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know what's going on in my throat tonight. That's the thing that Infernal Alchemy have done very well, is they have found a way to actually make these songs memorable. They find a way to keep these songs interesting and everything about them is just very well done and very well thought out. One of my favorite things about this too is the guitar. The guitar has a lot of really good riffs. They're pretty slow, they're pretty standard for black metal, but that said there's a comfort and consistency as I've said many times on this channel and it's a very consistent black metal guitar riff. Uh, very slow at times, doesn't really build up too much speed, just sounds really, really good. And one of my favorite things is the chord progressions. And some of my, the coolest parts is actually the clean guitar. And I believe it's on Countdown to Death or Silver Tongue. I can't remember which one, but there is a very, very good clean guitar part. And it really sounds almost nautical. And I'm a big fan of nautical sounding music, so I think that's really awesome. Uh, it's a guitar melody that you will remember, and quite frankly, it's something that's very, very good. <clears throat> the mix is something else I need to say. The mix on this is very, very well. Uh, a lot of people talk about underproduced black metal. I think this is the perfect production and perfect mix for a band of this style. And if you are turned off by extremely raw black metal, maybe check this out. It's very good. Um, bass, it's kind of hard to hear in the mix, but I can tell it's there and it just sounds damn good. Uh, nothing too fancy going on with it, but good stuff. The drums, very interesting. Because they, at some times, and this is not an insult to the playing, they kind of fall off time. A little bit but that kind of adds to this really eerie dark kind of messed up sound and that's something I like about this actually is the drums kind of fall off a little bit but when they're played they sound really good and quite frankly I prefer the drums on this to a lot of the more uh, perf uh, quote unquote perfect 
drummers in black metal. Just because black metal to me is supposed to have a very dark atmosphere. It's all about the atmosphere. Where with bands where they're so consistent and perfect all the time, they start to lose a little bit of charm. And that's one thing I love about this, is it has that really raw, dark, messed up charm that I like. And the drums add to it. A steady double bass, really good beats, nothing mind-blowing, but very tasteful, very well done. And some actually rather unique drum beats, I must say, with snare hits and ghost notes, it sounds like, at a couple points. Very good stuff. Vocally, the vocals are not used as much as you would find on a Blasphemous or Dark Metamorphous song. <clears throat> but when they're done, they're both really good. Uh, both members perform vocals on this. There's some interesting clean vocals that I think sound pretty damn good. On here, there's some really good raspy screams that just sound very hateful. But the way they're mixed is it's put low in the mix. So it's nothing that's shrieking it all up in your face and just kind of annoying. And that's a great thing about this is the mix on it. There's nothing too shrill. There's nothing that cuts through to the point where it makes you cringe. It's all done at a kind of a low level. And to me, that just sounds really good. And the vocals are definitely a uh, key part of that. But uh, yeah, this is just a great, great album. You can listen to it free here on YouTube or at Evergreen Recordings Bandcamp page. I will leave a link to both in the description. I'll leave links in the description to uh, Infernal Alchemy's Facebook page. Give them a like. Uh, if, I don't know if they have any CDs left to purchase of this. If they do, definitely pick one of these up. It's definitely worth the purchase. Great stuff. Uh, for a score, I'm going to give this a very solid 8 out of 10. Uh, Top-notch, ambient, atmospheric black metal. And uh, check out the bands that these guys are part of, Blasphemous and Dark Metamorphosis. Great stuff. Uh, but that's it, everyone. Solid 8 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, keep it metal.